what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. Welcome to a special edition of Higher Ed Pulse. I'm your host, Mallory Wilsey, and we're live at the 2024 AMA Symposium for the Marketing of Higher Education, bringing you conversations directly from the floor with thought leaders, innovators, and industry change makers. Let's dive in and check the pulse of what's happening right here at the symposium. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We are so excited to be here at AMA's Higher Education Symposium. I am here with Joe Master from RW Jones Agency. So tell us briefly your name, title, how long you've been there, some of those kinds of things. Well, thanks so much for having me, Carrie. It's been a a long time coming, us having this this meeting and here at AMA, which is such a great community gathering. I am the Managing Director of Brand and Marketing Strategy at RW Jones Agency. Um, I've been there for uh, coming up on a year and a half, and um, you know I came there to build brands, which is my favorite thing to talk about. Absolutely favorite thing. My my background, I spent twelve years in house at Drexel and Temple okay. Universities, and it was Drexel that really sent me down this path because we got to be the stewards of an actual brand campaign. Yeah. In a sea of enrollment marketing, we were able to actually tried to educate the market about an educational model. How cool. Yeah, and that set me on this trajectory. And so talk a little bit, as we were kind of having some prep conversation, Crayola came up. Yeah, Crayola and, and Lego. So, so tell me more. So I, I work with lots of colleges and universities building brands, right? Yeah. And colleges and universities have a problem trying to think about brand in a way that's actually helpful to the entire institution. And what I mean by that is that there are so many parts. There are so many offerings. There are so many features. We as an industry are almost prostrate under the weight of all that we do. And in thinking about how to run workshops and talk to colleges and universities about brand, I found myself watching my son. My son loves to color. He's 10 years old and he loves to use Legos. This sent me down a rabbit hole. As all good things do? Yes. A rabbit hole of looking at advertising for children's brands. Okay. And I've gone down rabbit holes my whole career. I've gone down watch advertising rabbit holes. Okay. There's, there's, there's car advertising, insurance advertising, but there's something about the simplicity, the simple elegance of Lego specifically, okay. and Crayola too, that really speaks to me and I think can teach us a lot in our sector about, you know, one Lego brick on its own is not a differentiator. Two, three, four, you put them together and you build something that's distinct. Okay. And when you think about Lego's advertising, they celebrate creativity and imagination. You know, that's their brand yeah. articulation, if you want to call it articulation or essence or whatever. Right. And kids know that without even, you don't need to explain it. So I showed my son, I did this focus group with my son, showed him the Ooh. 2012 Lego campaign, which is basically, it was called the Imagination Campaign. And it was just the, the square Lego bricks built in certain ways that if you, one was the Simpsons, the whole family. One was the Smurfs. Oh, cool. Right? One was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And instantly, I was like, what is this? And he's like, oh, Simpsons. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Did, now, I did the same thing with um, my father. He had no idea what he was looking at. And I asked my son, so what does this mean? What does this ad say to you? And he's like, I don't know. I, I didn't even have to think about it. And that is good branding. And if you think about it, all the things that we have, these monads to get like philosophical, all these offerings, you know, all these things that we do at colleges and universities, we talk so much about what we do, but it's very, very hard for us to get to why it matters Mm -hmm. and what it all comes together and levels up to. And just like a Lego creation, you put a Lego brick in a kid's hand alone, it's not special. You put a whole bunch of bricks in their hand and still you might have some differentiation in colors or sizes of the yeah. Legos, but when you put them together and build something, that is distinct. 
And there is an immediate, to me, like analogy to higher yeah. education where it doesn't have to level up to a tagline. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes we want to go there first, but it has to level up to something. And, and that thing, we can call it a big idea. We can call it a brand essence. We can call it a creative pot. I don't care what it is. It can include all of the offerings, but we don't have to say all the things. So as higher ed leaders, you know, that's one of the things we talk about at, at AMA in particular is how are we being Marcom leaders? How are we applying what's industry best practice? You know, how are we doing all of those things? And sometimes I think the thing we're faced with, to your point, is trying to say all the things in in an ad or in a, you know, whatever the case may be. How as leaders do we get comfortable and get those around us comfortable with being a little more simplistic and letting people make that ladder up on their own? Yeah. And the thing is, you said simplistic. I said simple too. We both yeah. have derivations of that word, but it's simply elegant. And, and I think that the thing is that we focus so much on marketing and we all know those of us who have been in house or are still in house, that marketing can be a bad word yeah. at our institutions. You know, it can be something that we have to dodge can be, you know, these truths, the liberal arts, for instance, are self-evident. Why would we need to market that? But recalibrating the conversation to brand is a much easier thing to do as a leader. It's hard to talk about marketing because that's a tactic. That's a tactical execution that should be done. Yep. But if you put brand at the middle, brand can then become that foundation upon which everything, just like a Lego creation, comes from. Mm -hmm. It's not marketing in a box. It's not your public relations and media relations in a box. It is that brand informing everything and that synergy, that beautiful synergy of everything. Yeah. So as a leader, I know it's very, very hard to advocate for these things, but recalibrating the conversation saying like, okay, this is all of the things we offer, but what does it level up to? At the end of the day, what are we doing here? Who do we serve? How do we serve them? How do we do it in a way that's distinct? And why does it matter right now? And again, I keep going back to a Lego creation. Like it's getting people to see the outcome, the built thing. And that built thing has all of those things that we offer, all those features. But those are affects of the, of the soul, the art of what we do. So is that easy for leaders to do? It's, it's not. And it should not be on the CMO or CMCO or VP of marketing right. and communications alone. It's a, it's, it's, Culture. it's on, it's on every leader in higher education to, to, to think like that. Yeah. But it's like seeing the forest for a tree almost. Like we are in a lot of ways weighed down by all of these messages that we need to get to the audience segments and we've got personas and that's wonderful and we need that. But talking about brand. Is, is such a great way to recalibrate that conversation. So, you know, one of the things that I love in particular about AMA is that chance to have those 60,000 foot conversations, have those 90 foot kind of reframing moments that change how I think about something. You know, not everything is a tactical session about how to do X, Y, Z. Those certainly have their place. Sometimes it's a deep conversation with somebody about how they're approaching a challenge, or sometimes it's you know, a glass of wine with somebody digging in on something that I really want to understand how they approach. Talk to me about why, in your mind, professional development like AMA is so important for Marcom leaders. It's almost like you kn you know a little bit about my background. Professional development is one of the best things about higher ed. Higher ed develops people. Now we can say, let's be honest. I want to be honest. Higher ed cannot pay as high as other verticals can. For sure. When I hired web developers, I knew that down the street in Philadelphia, Comcast could pay double. But you hire people and you develop them. And that's not just tactical. You develop their leadership skills too. I've been involved with CupRap. It's a professional organization committed to advancing higher ed marketing communications. I'm pretty much since my first week in higher ed. I serve on the board now. And when I come to AMA... That's, that's what this is to me. Professional, it's professional development for me every year. You know, I'm, I don't like using the word thought leader. 
I like, I think we're all practitioners. And I think we all come here to learn from each other yeah. at the end of the day. And that is special. And that's why I keep coming back. I love that. Well, thank you so much for your time. And to all of you that are listening, encourage you to keep checking out all of the different AMA recordings, lots of great feedback, ideas, and insights from the conference. And we'll have another one out soon. Have a great day, everybody. The Higher Ed Pulse is part of the Enrollify Podcast Network. If you like this podcast, chances are you'll like other Enrollify shows too. Our podcast network is growing by the month, and we've got a plethora of marketing, enrollment, and higher ed technology shows that are jam-packed with stories, ideas, and frameworks, all designed to empower you to be a better higher ed professional. Our show helps higher ed marketers and admission pros find their next big idea and features a selection of the industry's best as your hosts. Learn from Brian Gross, Eddie Francis, Jenny Lee Fowler, and so many of your favorite leaders in higher ed. Enrollify is made possible by Element 451, the next generation AI student engagement platform, helping institutions create meaningful and personalized interactions with students. Learn more at element451.com.